Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo and it sure is starting to look a whole lot like summer. So today I'm sharing two decorative DIYs for your home decor perfect for a patriotic theme. Today I'll be showing you how I decoupage this large tin and how to make some patriotic rockets. Let's start off with the rockets. What you'll need are a few toilet paper rolls. You'll also need something that you can make the cones or the tops out of. I'm using a milk carton. You'll need to use your hot glue gun with some glue sticks, some scissors, some wooden dowels or skewers, mine are from the Dollar Tree, any kind of ribbon you have on hand, and some decorative paper. I'm actually using this decorative flag from the Dollar Tree. First off, you'll need to cover your toilet paper rolls. For this, I used one of the flags from the banner from the Dollar Tree and some hot glue. Just adding glue as I rolled it along and it covers a toilet paper roll perfectly. Just continue adding a little glue along the edge of both the paper and the toilet paper roll as you roll it along. Now it's time to trim the edge. Once you've trimmed off any extra paper, it's time to work on the cone portion of our rocket. For this, I'm using part of a milk carton, just rolling it along and then using my hot glue to secure it in a cone shape. You could use anything else you have on hand like cardstock for this step. Now it's time to trim our cone down to the right size. Make sure when you're trimming your cone, you don't take too much off and make it too small for the base of our rocket. I suggest sort of measuring it as you go. Once you've got your cone assembled, it's time to cover that with some paper. For this one, I'm using one of the red pieces of the banner to cover my cone, securing it with hot glue as I roll it along. Continue adding glue as needed and make sure to secure the back of your cone along the seam. Then go ahead and trim off any extra paper and clean up any uneven edges. And now for the fun part, embellishing your rockets. Now you can do as much or as little as you want. For this, I'm using one of the extra pieces of banner, cutting off the top that has a stitched edge, and then using my scissors to cut a scalloped edge. Now I'm using this little piece of trim that I created along the bottom of my rocket, securing it in place using a little bit of hot glue and trimming off the extra. Now it's time to attach our cone. For this, I used a little hot glue right around the top edge of my toilet paper roll and then just slid my cone right in place. Once that dried, I went ahead and added a skewer. Now, the reason I'm doing this is that I want to use these as picks in a floral arrangement for my decor. Now you can paint your skewers if you like or leave them as is. Then go ahead and add a little decorative ribbon along the bottom and these just couldn't be any easier to make. Now on to our decorative decoupaged tin. For this, I'm using a very large tin can from some stew that we make. I knew this year I wanted to do a floral arrangement to use my rockets in, and I wanted something kind of vintage looking on the bottom. So I held onto this can, gave it a good wash down, and we're gonna use it to decoupage a label onto. I just think the little hint of blue and red on this label is perfect. It came from a very large sack of flour that I purchased and it is paper. Now, if you don't have any labels, you may wanna consider going online and looking for an image that you can print off to use. You could also use things like scrapbooking or decorative paper or fabric. Maybe you have an old printed shirt or a tablecloth around that you really like the colors in. Things like that work beautifully with decoupage, especially on something large like a tin. Once you're ready to add whatever you're using, fabric or paper, be sure to work in small sections. I do find that when using something like Mod Podge to decoupage a surface, it is best to work a little bit at a time. For this project, I am using the decoupage called Mod Podge. That is something that you can find at every craft store, places like Walmart in the craft area, and even at Dollar Tree in smaller bottles. It comes in different finishes. I just happen to have some in a matte finish on hand. I buy it in larger containers from places like Hobby Lobby when I can use my coupon to purchase it. And a large tub will cost you right around $4 in any kind of craft store or Walmart. 
There are different brands, but I always tend to use Mod Podge. So just add a layer of your Mod Podge and then smooth whatever you're working with over top very gently to get out any wrinkles or bubbles. Now I did cut out a corner of my label because it had an unsightly portion of nutritional value in black print that I didn't want. Then once you have covered your full tin, let it dry completely and then go over top of it again with another layer of Mod Podge and it will be sealed and ready to use in your decor. I just love how this whole arrangement turned out between the vintage inspired tin and my little bottle rockets for the 4th of July. I am loving my red, white, and blue decor for summer. But best of all, this cost me just pennies to make with a few things from around the house and a couple of things from the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoyed seeing these two affordable summer decor DIYs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon.